berabad lamanya dahulu, satu cabang seni halus yang kemudiannya menjadi peradaban warisan dipercayai telah lahir di Kepulauan Nusantara. Batik bermula sebagai karya kraf tangan yang unggul pada busana-busana tradisi generasi zaman silam. Ia diangkat sebagai persalinan bangsawan, cenderahati dari istana ke istana dan terus kekal istimewa dalam martabatnya tersendiri. Okay, if you talk about the differences between the Malaysian batik, especially those who come from Terengganu and Kelantan compared to the one from Indonesia, um, in terms of design, we can see that most of the batik, especially those who are centered, those batik who are centered from the Java Island, they are very traditional, not only in terms of the motif, but also in terms of the color usage, color combinations. Most of the solo and the Jogjakarta batik, they are very brown very subdued in terms of colors, except one from uh, Pakalongan, where a little bit colorful because of the influence from the Western countries. But um, in Malaysia, it's totally different in terms of the, uh, the, the motif. Most of our motifs are quite contemporary, even though we're referring to the uh, local flora and also the fauna of uh, Malaysia. But again, in terms of colors, ours is much more vibrant. We really highlight the tropical colors. That doesn't happen in Indonesia. Di tanah Melayu, batik dipercayai lebih awal tersohor di negeri Kelantan sebelum mula bercambah di Terengganu, Sabah dan Sarawak. Kain-kain bercorak batik menjadi pakaian seharian masyarakat pada masa itu. Dipelbagaikan penggunaannya malah terbiasa bukan sahaja oleh kaum wanita tetapi juga lelaki. Asimilasi batik ke dalam kehidupan seharian kemudiannya telah berkembang menjadi sebahagian dari budaya bangsa. Namun, sejauh manakah batik dan nilai estetikanya akan terus terpelihara merentas zaman?